Python named tuple. First, we'll do a quick revision on tuples. Then we'll introduce you to the named tuple, learn to access elements, and see how it works. We'll also see the benefits to using them. You know this, tuples are immutable containers that can hold different kinds of values. This is a tuple with three values. We call this colors. This holds the RGB values for a color. The first value in the tuple is 255. We can index tuples and indexing begins at zero. But we cannot reassign the second element or the element at index one. This is a type error as tuples are immutable and we cannot reassign them. Tuples let us access items using indices. Named tuples let us access them using names. Let's import it from the collections module. Colors is a named tuple where named tuple is a factory function that gives us a named tuple object. Colors is the name of the tuple and we have a string of fields red, green, blue. What makes a named tuple different is that it lets you access elements using names. We have three named tuples, red, green, and blue. These hold the RGB values for the colors red, green, and blue. The named tuple red is this. We can also create a named tuple using a list. Pets is a named tuple holding pet name and age. Fluffy is a pet with the values Fluffy and 9. Her name is Fluffy and she is 9 years old. When we print it, we have this. Let's see how we can access values in a named tuple. Let's do this with the dot operator. Red.red dot red is 255 and red.green dot green is 0. But we can also index them with square brackets because they are backward compatible. The first value in red is 255. Yet another way to access values in a named tuple is the get ATTR function. In the named tuple red, the value of green is 0. What are these things? Well, colors is a class. Red is an object of this class. And red from the object red is an integer, an object of the class integer. Just like a tuple, you cannot change a named tuple's attributes. Red.blue is 1 now. This gives us an attribute error. Like a tuple, a named tuple is immutable. We can also convert it into a dictionary, into an ordered dict. The asdict function lets us do that. It uses this named tuple and creates and returns an ordered dict. You can create a named tuple from a list if you have defined the format, which let's assume we already have. So it uses this list to build this named tuple. Using two asterisks, we can also use a simple dictionary to create a named tuple. To get a list of keys in a dictionary, you use the keys method. To get the names of all the fields in a named tuple, you use fields. It has the fields red, green, and blue. We saw a named tuple is immutable and cannot be altered, but using the replace method, we can alter its attributes. Replace green's value with 1 and you have successfully done it with replace. A named tuple offers the following benefits. It lets us access values using field names instead of indices. Think of it as self-documentation. It is easier to maintain code this way. 
Also, a named tuple is as memory efficient as a regular tuple since it has no per instance dictionaries. This means it is lightweight and also takes up only about as much memory as do tuples. This also makes it faster than dictionaries. With this, we end our sessions on collections modules. Next, we'll learn about numeric modules like math, decimal, and randoms.